Hi, my name is Mike Foley. I work in the vSphere tech marketing team. My focus is on vSphere security. We recently released vSphere 6.7, which brings in a whole bunch of new security features. The topic we're going to talk about right now is the use of TPM 2.0 for the ESXi server. You'll see here that I have server hardware, and on top of the server hardware is the vendor-supplied UEFI firmware. Within that UEFI firmware is a digital certificate. That digital certificate is used to validate the bootloader. If you've been following any of my blogs, you can see that this sounds very similar to our vSphere 6.5 use of Secure Boot. So within the bootloader, we also have a digital certificate. That digital certificate is signed by VMware. This digital certificate is typically a vendor supplied digital certificate. Okay, so we have the UEFI firmware. It's validating the bootloader against a digital certificate. If the bootloader was compromised, the UEFI firmware is smart enough to validate that the bootloader has been compromised and does not allow the continuation of a boot. So we have the bootloader, it has the, di the VMware digital certificate, it then loads the kernel. The VM kernel is, th is checked by the bootloader. Once that is done, these two components write hash values to the TPM 2.0 chip. These hash values include whether or not secure boot was enabled. Once that, once that happens, the boot continues. We run the secure boot verifier. That validates every VIB, every vSphere installation bundle, which is a digitally signed package. ESXi creates the in-memory file system which points to the contents of those packages. So rather than signing every, v, every file, we sign the package. Once that boots, once that finishes, you are now running host D. At that point, vCenter grabs the values, the hashed values from the TPM, which are stored in a secured hardware location. It grabs the ESXi event log and the VIB metadata and compares the two values. If the two values are uh, compare accurately, then the host is considered having passed attestation. A report will be generated within vCenter and you can see whether or not the host has passed attestation. So this is how we use TPM 2.0 to ensure that Secure Boot has run and validated every component providing a chain of trust all the way down to that digital certificate stored in the UEFI firmware that's provided by your server vendor. Okay, so you've just gotten a lot of information on vSphere 6.7. There's even more information at blogs.vmware.com slash vSphere and also vSphereCentral.vmware.com.